Okay, this is the waste pathway. So again, we're talking about pathways in eukaryotic cells. Here we have a eukaryotic cell. We know it's a eukaryotic cell because it has all of these membrane-bound organelles in it. And in a prokaryotic cell, we don't see any of that. Um, so not only do these organelles exist inside a eukaryotic cell, but they also work together for a common function. And so in this case, we're talking about how a cell actually manages its waste because it is a, a living organ, like a living cell. And so it takes in energy and then produces waste. Um, and so the key players, the key organelles that are part of this whole process and pathway are vacuoles. And if you remember, the vacuoles are the vacuum cleaners. The ER is a big part of it, so that's the protein. Um, the Golgi, remember that packages and distributes proteins. Uh, the lysosome, remember, is like when you rub your belly, right? Um, it's like a digestive enzyme packet. And then also the plasma membrane, okay? So let's go over what actually happens. The waste pathway. So what happens is um, our cell food, like food for the cell and also waste, is actually stored in these structures called vacuoles. Okay, so that was our vacuum cleaner. So set that aside and put that just somewhere, okay? Now, how are those things um, disposed of? So now we're gonna focus on what organelles help to dispose of them. So the first thing is, is that enzymes and I want you to know that enzymes are a type of protein, okay? Enzymes are a type of protein. These enzymes are actually made in the ER. Remember the ER um, is the protein burger looking thing and um, it makes proteins. Well, enzymes are an example of a protein and that is made in the ER but it's not done that yet at the ER. It actually needs to be sent to another organelle called the Golgi. And once it's in the Golgi, once, that, once those enzymes are in the Golgi, then the Golgi will package and distribute those enzymes in structures called lysosomes. So the Golgi will actually produce the lysosome, okay? The ER is the one that makes the enzymes, but then what produces this actual thing called a lysosome, um, or a lysosome, yeah, that's the uh, enzyme packet, it'll actually be an organelle, okay? So then the lysosome will actually fuse with the food-containing and waste-containing vacuoles, okay? It'll fuse with it, so it'll like empty its contents of digestive enzymes in the vacuole, and then it doesn't stay inside the cell. It'll actually send that vacuole, which contains the waste, and it'll be emptied outside the cell membrane, okay? So if we were to draw a picture of this, here we have a, um, what? Um, okay, you're gonna have to go upstairs. I, I'm doing another recording. Um, so the cell food and waste is stored in these vacuoles, so I'll put a V for short, okay? Then what happens in the meantime, all of this is happening, enzymes are made in the ER. So here is the ER. Okay, and the ER, hey remember, yo. okay, Zoe. Sorry the ER that. is located adjacent or next to the nucleus, which contains the DNA. Um, so here's the ER. Okay, so we're going to put uh, an E over the ER. We'll use a different color here. So these enzymes are made in the ER. Remember, enzymes are a protein. Okay, so it's making proteins in the ER um, and on the ribosomes. Then it has to be sent from the ER to the Golgi, okay, because it's not packaged correctly yet. So then let's make the Golgi a bunch of flat pancakes, like stacked pancakes, okay? Here we go. So then the, the um, enzymes will go to the Golgi, and once it's there, it'll package and distribute those um, enzymes in structures called lysosomes. Okay, I'll put an L here, okay? So again, we're talking about the enzymes. They're made in the ER. They get sent to the Golgi, and the Golgi then makes those lysosomes. 
then what happens? Then the fusion happens. So this vacuole here and this lysosome, the lysosome will go over to the vacuole. It'll bust open its cell membrane. That's, that's um, a barrier from the inside to the outside of it. And then the contents of this lysosome, which are the enzymes, will be dumped into that vacuole, okay? So another way to look at this is here is a vacuole, okay? It has all this waste inside, okay? The lysosome will go over to it. It'll bust open that cell membrane that, that exists there. It'll empty the contents. So let's say this purple dots are the, are the enzymes, the contents from the lysosome. It'll empty it into the vacuole, and then it'll be shipped to the cell membrane. So here's the cell membrane. We have a, a bunny head and two bunny tails, or bunny head and ears. Bunny head and ears, remember the phospholipids, or cell membrane. This is the barrier, right? This is the barrier that exists between um, the cell's contents inside and the cell's uh, environment on the outside. Okay, so this, what'll happen is, just finish these beautiful bunny ears, um, this structure here, which is the fused lysosome and vacuole, will travel to the cell membrane right here, and then, and then push this outside of the cell. So here is the outside of the cell, okay? And then on this side is the inside, right? And this, this area here, this is the plasma membrane. That is what divides, right? It divides the inside of the cell from the outside environment. The cell needs to get rid of all this waste. And the way it does it is by transferring it across that cell membrane outside the cell. And then it is happy. It's homeostasis. And homeostasis is when it has a stable internal condition, okay? So what do we get out of this? that eukaryotic cells are way more complex than we thought, aren't they? This one last pathway that we went over here, the waste pathway, is one example of how involved these organelles are working with each other to achieve a common function, okay? All right, and that's the end for waste.